So that's how we got to this stage. Only because we were able to substitute median for mean due to that symmetry, is it now OK to switch log and this word, log and median? Because you can switch the words log and median, as we just discussed. What is the log of the median income of people in the Midwest minus the log of the median income of people in the Northeast? Well, let's remember back to the log rules that we learned when we were first exposed to logs. The log of one quantity minus the log of another quantity, the log of A minus the log of B, is equal to the log of A over B. This quantity is equal to the log of the median of X divided by the median of Y. What do we have written here? The difference in mean log incomes is equal to the log of the ratio of median incomes, the log of the ratio of median incomes. Why is this useful? Well, remember that we have a particular number. We have a particular number that we obtained when we estimated the mean of the log income in the Midwest minus the mean of the log income in the Northeast. All right, we have some particular number. And it could be any number. Let's call it D, just for lack of a different number. But capital D is that difference. Okay. So what we're saying down here is that this thing, say approximately equal, is approximately equal to D. Okay. Whatever I estimated as the mean of the log income in the Midwest minus the mean of the log income in the Northeast, whatever that number is, now I'm saying that number is approximately equal to the log of the median of X over the median of Y. Why is this useful? Because there's only one more step to get these x's and y's rid of this log. Let me get rid of the log on both sides. How do you get rid of a log? Well, if you remember back to the log rules you've learned, log has to be base some particular number. In the sciences and in high school math classes, typically we think about the log base 10. And that's fine. In statistics, the convention is to think about the log base e. Little e is just a number. It's approximately 2.7. If you want to see that number in a software such as R, if you type in exp1, it'll print out the number. It's just the exponential. So the way I prefer to think about this is log base e. However, if you took the log base 10 over here, that's fine. Then you want to use 10 for the next step. Whatever base this log has, the next step is to take that base raised to this power and also that base raised to this power. Let me write this same equation over here so that we can manipulate it. So what do we end up with? Again, the log of the ratio of the medians. And we're saying that that's equal to some particular number, approximately. It's approximately equal. What I'm going to do now, because I took the log with base e, I'm going to take e to the log median x over median y, and also e to the power d, whatever that number is. And this statement is also true, because I did the same thing to both sides. What does that imply? Well, the e and the log cancel out because of the definition of log. So what this says now is that the median of the incomes in the Midwest divided by the median of the incomes in the Northeast is equal to e to the whatever quantity you calculated as the difference in means on the log scale. I can stop here if I want. Instead of talking about what the difference in log income, the difference in mean log income is, I can say the ratio of the median income in the Midwest and the Northeast is whatever this quantity is. And remember that D is some particular number in your t-test, in your calculation, and 2.7 raised to that particular number is also just some number. Right? This is just some number, like 5. Okay? So one way to talk about how the original incomes relate to each other without having to mention logs is to calculate e to the d, whatever that is, for example, 5, and say the ratio of the median incomes on the original dollar scale is 5. Another way to look at it, another way to say the same thing, is to multiply both sides by this denominator and then to say if we take the median income in the Northeast and multiply it by this number, five, we get the median income in the Midwest. The median income in the Midwest is five times bigger than the median income in the Northeast.
This statement here is why I claim that taking the log is going to give us better intuition than something like taking the square root or taking the reciprocal in order to get um, a population distribution or a sample distribution that looks approximately normal. Because now I can interpret the results on the original scale. Again, e to the d is just some number, like 5, that I can calculate. And now I'm allowed to make a statement about how many times bigger the median dollar value is in one region than the median dollar value in the other region. How does this differ from talking about the difference in means as we usually do in a t-test? Well, we're not talking about means anymore. We're talking about medians. But I claim that's a good thing. If our original populations are so right skewed, the means are so influenced by those large values, I would rather be talking about the median. Right? So that's a good thing, I think, that we're talking about medians when we're back to the original scale, x and y, as opposed to log x and log y. And we're no longer talking about the amount we add to one quantity to get to another quantity. Rather, we're talking about the amount we multiply one quantity by to get to the other quantity. And that's fine. That's a perfectly valid result to have. The median income in the Midwest is, for example, five times the median income in the Northeast. I bet that particular number five is not the actual number, but that's how you would interpret a result like this. Note also that when we did our t-test, we probably did not only have that estimate for the difference in means on the log scale. We probably also obtained a confidence interval for the difference in means on the log scale. Turns out we can use the lower and upper bounds of that interval to learn about this quantity right here, this multiplier.